Hi, I'm Matt Wright and I'm an application engineer for Marsim Professional. I'm here to talk to you today a little bit about pan and tilt limits. Now pan and tilt limits I'm going to demo on this Mac Ultra Performance, but they also work on other fixtures such as the Mac Encore. Now limiting pan and tilt lets you define a maximum and minimum limit for the pan and tilt angles so that you can install fixtures close to obstacles such as other fixtures or trusses with no risk of collision so that the beam will only hit a certain area of the stage or set or so that you can avoid the fixture shining into the eyes of the audience. Once set, the fixture's pan and tilt movement will remain in a safe zone within the limits that you set. To set the limits using the control panel menus, go into the Limit Pan Tilt menu and enter the minimum and maximum limits for pan and tilt as the 16-bit values that you would use to move pan and tilt to those positions via DMX. To set the limits via DMX, move the head using the pan and tilt DMX channels to the position where you want to set minimum pan and tilt limits, then enable pan minimum and tilt minimum limits on the fixture setup control settings DMX channel, sending values for at least one second to activate them. Use the same method to set the maximum pan and tilt limits. Please note that when you power the fixture off, the head may move under its own weight to a position that is outside its pan and tilt limits. To reset pan and tilt limits, you select that option on the menu and, and that will set the fixture to default pan and tilt limits that are suitable for mounting the fixture in a GT pre-rig truss using standard Martin half coupler rigging clamps. If you install the fixture in this type of pre-rig truss, you only need to execute a reset pan tilt limits command and set limit enable to on to avoid the risk of head collisions.